Hello everyone, in this video we will learn how to add data validation and create filter view in Google Sheets. So the data validation it is a feature that is commonly used to add drop down list into cells within your Google Sheet. So let's say if you are uh, trying to track the status of a project, you might use data validation to create drop down options within cells that can say not yet started in progress or ready so but a filter view it arranges the data so that uh, it arranges the data and sorts your data according to your need and create a filter view of the data so to learn in more details about the data validation and filter view you can come back here later so this is how we are going to implement this video now let's get started so I am at my Google Drive. Now I will open this Google Sheet. So I have a simple expense list over here. Now um, what we will do is we, uh, to add the data validation. Let me just give. Uh, I'm going to add a new cell called the range page. So for the data validation, what we can do is we need to click on the column header, then right click and click on data validation. Now, uh, as it is saying a range, so uh, the range can be like um, a, a number that you can like use the 20 to 30. Then if you click over here, you get the list of items, number, text, date, and all the other things. So as we are going to create a drop down with multiple choices, so we need to click on list of items. Now it is saying enter items separated by a comma. So you can use more than one item, but you need to separate them using a comma. Just like this. Yes, comma and no. Now if you click on the save, now you will see that there are, now it has a drop down that will let us select yes or no. Now over here it is saying invalid, so because this also has to be yes or no as we selected the entire um, column. So now if you want to remove the data validation for this cell only, you have to select this cell and right click on it and scroll down to data validation and click on remove validation. Now the warning has been gone, so now it is good to go. Now, to create a filter view, what we can do is we need to select the entire Excel by clicking over here. Let's do it again. We need to click over here and we need to go to the data. Then we need to click create a filter. Now the filter is created. Now if you click on this green filter icon, then you can select which of the information you want to see in the no. If we click on the, uh, I want to see only the no. And click on OK. Now it is showing me the only month in which I didn't pay my rent. Now, if I click on this filter icon again and select tick mark everyone and click on OK, now I'm getting my Excel back. So, this is how you can filter your data. So, now let's have a look at the summary. So, in this video, we will learn how to add data validation and create filter view in Google Sheets. Thank you for watching.